Hello friends, welcome to my video. In this video, I will show you some tips and tricks of MATLAB. So in MATLAB, have you ever wondered how can you restart your MATLAB from within a MATLAB? I hope that all of you know how to close the or shut down the MATLAB just by probably using this cross button. Or if you are doing it through your uh, script, you can just call exit or probably this script to close this MATLAB. But and but to restart, probably you will then go and then click here and uh, which which will bring up your uh, MATLAB back. But have you ever imagined how you can do it? How you can restart your MATLAB in one shot? So things are very really simple. I hope you know that you can call the system command, the Windows command, Windows operating system commands through this, uh, from within the MATLAB command prompt. You can either use the system uh, command or either you can use this exclamation mark, just that's it. I, I prefer to use this exclamation mark. And then if your MATLAB is installed correctly and the path of the MATLAB.exe is in the Windows operating system which usually is the case if you do the uh, normal installation then it will be in the Windows operating system path so in that case you have to it's very simple you have to just call MATLAB with this exclamation mark from within the command window and it will open a new MATLAB session also you can give various options here say for example you don't want that blue screen which comes in the that express screen so you can just use this no splash and then that's it. If you uh, call this, it will open a new MATLAB session. I'll also put an ampersand sign because it will make sure that my uh, new MATLAB starts in a new thread and not this old thread. So I just call this. After a few, few seconds, I'm expecting a new MATLAB to come up. And yes, see, a new MATLAB came up. And now I can close this exit. So what if the commands which I typed just now, if I make a shortcut out of it and uh, or a kind of uh, one button click, then it becomes my restart button for my case. So let's create that. So for shortcut creation, we can go on top here. Just click here and we can give any label, say for example, restart and shortcut summary goes here. That is the command which we, are, we just typed. So we will type MATLAB. Space. You can choose different options like no desktop, no Java, no JVM, no Splash, as and when you feel. If you don't want to use any option, you can just call MATLAB, it will open those uh, Splash screen as well. But for this, I just want to keep it simple and just call exit. And if I create, it will create a shortcut with a shortcut icon of this standard disk. Probably I want to choose something like a MATLAB icon. and show label so yeah i want to sh show the label so that it's a restart so if i click save yeah so this becomes my restart so whenever you are in the middle of something and you have to just quickly restart your uh matlab oh, yeah on this also you can see uh, this comes up restart these two are my previous shortcuts so don't get confused and this is the new shortcut which we created which we created in this video so if you have to just quickly restart for some reason your MATLAB, you can just click on this button and then sit tight. It will just close that and open a new video. Oh, yes, for some reason I saw that my no splash option did not work. So let me see why, what was the reason because uh, oh no, this is my the other uh, shortcut. Sorry, uh, I think I should go here no okay so spelling mistake is there so splash if i click here say no if i start so it will be a very silent restart that the first matlab closes and in parallel the second matlab opens please don't forget to put this ampersand sign over here at the end to do this so this was a very simple trick to have a restart option in your matlab in this video, I will also like to show you how you can check whether this any part of MATLAB is whether that is in the MATLAB path or not. So basically, if you type the path, it will show you the list of all the paths which is there in your uh, MATLAB environment. So this is the complete path of the 
my MATLAB environment. So if you want to quickly see uh, whether your this particular path is in MATLAB environment or not, so how you can do it? Either you can write some complicated scripts or you can search for this path in the path MATLAB path or otherwise there is a very simple shortcut which you can create. That's again a one line command you can do for that. Yeah, so the option which we are going to use for this is that will compare whether the path given per se for example we compare for pwd and whether this particular path is in our path or not so we will use the command as string compare strcmpi probably we will go for string compare i and we will see whether any of this is true or not so we will go for string compare uh, it is and we will give the first is our pwd which is the above and we will see whether it matches any of our uh, option in the path variable or not so for that we can use we can use a regular expression like, like XP, yes and then we can go for uh, the main string will my path and then uh, so this path will contain all the paths which are which which are there in my matlab environment and then i can uh, get the expression out of it path separator so this this is basically path separator is nothing but a slash sign and what I have to do is I have to split at that particular point of time so I have to call the split yes so this completes my regular expression and that's it so if I run this command it should show okay so is incorrect possibly unbalanced okay so I think I missed one parenthesis in my previous run so this automatically is taken care by uh, MATLAB yeah so when I ran this command it returns 0 that means this path is not there in my path so how can we verify that uh, if this command works fine or not so quickly we will add this path into our uh, MATLAB path so that we can do using add path command and I can just call it PWD so this adds my path into the current uh, into the MATLAB path and now if I call the previous uh, command so it it returns the value one here see so that means this path has been added to this uh, to my MATLAB path and also note uh, note please that this add path is just adding for this instance of MATLAB if you want to add any path for all the instances of MATLAB you will have to call save path command and then you have to do the save path and then it saves the whatever the path you have updated so don't forget to call save path also just uh, to, uh, before ending this video I would like to show that we can also make a uh, quick uh, shortcut for this also so I will just go above do a, a shortcut creation and instead of this one line command and I will just put like uh, probably since we are using pwd over here constant we can use that otherwise what you can do is write a function uh, where you take the path as a input and uh, and then you can call that function uh, with that path and pass that path over here in this particular uh, command and then it will return the correct value but for the simplicity I'll just put like this one uh, pwd which is present working directory uh, is in a path something like this I can choose the icon say for example probably I can choose p for this so I will choose p and show label at this time I will not do a show label so I just click here so my P came here I can just click here so it returns this and yeah that's it so if, if I if I say for example if I create a new directory inside this and say test and go inside this and do this it should return 0 yeah so it returns 0 so this is a very these are some of the useful shortcuts which you can create in your MATLAB environment to have a restart and uh, to check the whether your path is in the working directory or not oh sorry in the MATLAB path or not and these are few shortcuts which will really help you in um, speeding up your of your work so I just click once again restart and it should close this MATLAB session and start a new MATLAB session okay so that's all thank you for watching my video if you have any questions please do put in the comment section and please subscribe my channel if you like this video thank you